Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me is Namki Kim, Executive Director and Head of ETFs at Moray Asset Global Investments to discuss the Korean ETF market and Moray's expansion. Namki, it's great to have you with us. Welcome to Trade Talks. Hi, Jill. Uh, thank you for having me here. And the Korean ETF market is one of the fastest growing markets in the world. What are some recent trends you've observed in the Korean ETF market? And how do you see growth in this space going forward? Uh, we are uh, optimistic that the Korean ETF market will continue to grow at a faster pace. Uh, last month, uh, the local ETF market broke the $50 billion a year mark for the first time. Uh, over the past 10 years, the Korean market grew at a compounded annual growth rate of 24%, outpacing the global ETF market 10 years CAGR of 18%. However, there is still plenty of room for the room to market to grow, driven by three of these factors. Uh, first, uh, the ETF market size as a percentage of uh, uh, total market cap of COSPI stands at only 2.6%, which is relatively small uh, compared to 12% in the United States and 9% in Japan. Second, uh, further diversification of ETF investor base uh, will continue to growth. In 2020, we witnessed record high purchasing of ETFs uh, from uh, personal pension and retirement pension fund, uh, which increased 342% year over year. Uh, part of our strategy for uh, 2021 include tapping into this segment, uh, offering overseas exposure uh, that meet pension investment requirements. The third factor is the gradual change in investor preference and behavior. Uh, the Korean market uh, has traditionally favored leveraged and inverse product with a strong home market bias. However, uh, we are seeing a shift in uh, investor preference uh, where retail investment in thematic products uh, grew about 10 times last year. And now, can you please tell us more about Moray Asset Global Investments? Uh, okay. Uh, established in 1997, uh, Mirasa Global Investment is the asset management arm of the Mir Asset Financial Group, of uh, one of Asia's uh, leading independent financial services companies. Our subsidiary ETF companies include Global X and Horizons ETFs, and our consolidated ETF AUM is 58.5 billion US dollar, making Mir Asset the a 17th largest ETF issuer in the world. And Murray Asset has been active in expanding its global ETF platform from early on with the acquisition of Horizon ETFs in 2011 and Global X in 2018. As you had mentioned, how is Murray Asset positioned in the competitive ETF market space? Uh, okay, uh, the thematic investment segment in Korea has grown exponentially over the past year where retail investors bought $3 billion of thematic ETF in 2020. Uh, Mirror Asset played an integral role in the Korean market, where we launched both local and overseas thematic ETFs, such as the BBIG ETF and the China Electric Vehicle ETF in Q4 2020. Uh, BBIG, which stands for Battery, Bio, Internet and Game is one of our most successful launch up to date and is Korea's largest thematic ETF. In 2021, we will continue to expand our uh, thematic lineup to solidify our brand positioning as the leader in thematic ETF. Uh, it is encouraging to see local investors becoming more interested in overseas ETFs. And congratulations, of course, on launching Korea's first Philadelphia Semiconductor Sector ETF. Why did Moray Asset decide to launch this ETF, and how do you see market demand? 
Um, uh, we are extremely pleased to launch the Philadelphia Semiconductor Sector ETF in Korea. Uh, local investors are very familiar with the SOX index, uh, where Korean, uh, Korean investors currently hold roughly $2 billion in constituent stocks, such as NVIDIA, TSMC, AMD, and Qualcomm. The top heavy structure of the index combined with surging interest in the semiconductor sector will make it a compelling investment. By launching this ETF, we strive to provide easier access for Korean investors to gain exposure to overseas equities. In addition, the local listing of this ETF will allow investors to purchase the ETF for their pension, personal pension and retirement pension account. Um, Muriel Asset has a long-standing relationship with NASDAQ dating back to 2010 when we launched the first NASDAQ 100 index tracking ETF in Korea. We look forward to expanding our relationship with NASDAQ to launch ETF for easier and more efficient access to overseas exposure for local investors. Namki, we appreciate the insight. Thanks for joining us on Trade Talks and thanks for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.